Hello and welcome everyone to the Guild Wars 2 Jumbo Mirage Additional moves, additional combo moves demonstration so We're gonna go to a place where we can find NPCs Probably the bears here Once again this is Avian Blade, you could call me Avian for short Hopefully after you guys have seen the video for you mesmers interested if you were trying this out uh, I know, well, it's expected if you die a lot the first time, because that's what happens when we try a new build we're not familiar with. So this video is a little more advanced now. I've already covered the basics and the stats. So I'm just going to get into it. I don't really have a script. I'm just going to spill what comes out of my mouth right now. So a trick you can do is a trap trigger. So let's pretend this black bear has an invisible circle around him that's a trap or a visible circle that's a trap. It depends. Some classes their traps are visible, some are not. If it's for balance. And you're cautious and you just want to trigger it. Go ahead and phase retreat and just do a power shadow. You could spare it because you have another stack. And then it will activate the trap. Alright. Another thing you can do is if you want to blind the opponent you could literally just j teleport to them or blind or if you want to do a back-to-back -back blind you could just rush advance wait for the first attack okay well that legendary guy defender kind of ruined it but we'll do it again hold on we'll have our alacrity that's interesting the animation didn't go up Alright, so we're going to do a back-to-back -back blind. We blind, we're going to miss once. Blind again, he's going to miss twice. He's the guy has a really slow attack pattern, but you see the point. So that's back-to-back -back blinds. Uh, here's the combo moves for the combo fields. So, Axe 3 is one of them. You could also have Chaos Aura again by jumping out. Jaunting out. Or you could blink out of it, right? No, no, not the blink. Where is it? The phase retreat. So if you had the chaos storm and then you phase retreat, that's another combo. We'll do this again. Some of you guys are familiar with this. Some of you are not. But I'm uh, doing this as if you're not familiar with it. All right, we'll do it. So we're gonna do a combo. That's one of them. That's another one. That's another one. I'm going to show you another one that also has the Chaos Storm. So those are the combo fields that allow you to have additional Chaos Auras. And we didn't even use this one yet, see that? I'm going to recharge this quick. Alright. Here's the next one. This is very useful if there's two or three of them inside the Chaos Storm. Pay attention. See those confusion bolts? We have confusion on them, on the weapon that on the on the skill set that doesn't have confusion, but it's because of the combo we get confusion on them. You see that? Oh right. Another combinations we can do is combining our jaunts with power shatter or the confusion shatter. So we're gonna get some clones up first before we uh, do that. Three, two, one, boom. So the jaunt with the power shatter. Okay. Now the next one's gonna be the confusion shatters. One second. So we get some clones up. Alright, we get that one. Wait for him to get close. Ready. Confusion shatter. Is the next attack is gonna take a big chunk out of him? Well not anymore, because it takes a while. But there's the chunk. And you can really increase the effectiveness with X3 for the, the confusion that lands on him. Alright, here's another trick you can do. It's called the lineup shot, where you realize that you could be more effective. Let's say there's an opponent here and an opponent uh, somewhere else. You want to line up the shot, so you want to go ahead and do this. Now it goes through both of them because you lined up the shot. But we could do this again. The spinning uh, staff gives you time to align your shot so you could line them up. That's why. That's another trick. Alright. So how did I train to f watch animations? It really started in PvE and also when I was in World vs. World, I actually just practiced against NPCs, you know. 
I actually did this when I fight. I wait until they're about to attack. And you know, and then I did that. And then I went to look for NPCs that had faster attack patterns. There's a, uh, there's an NPC back there. There's like a challenge here. I think you can only do it once, but I think you could do it again, I don't know. You can always practice against NPCs, especially against the camps. And your goal is not to down them, but your goal is to see how much can you blind or miss, make them miss or evade, you know, before you have to teleport out. And, you, and you're not defeating them because you want to practice, you know, against their attacks. So we'll practice against the Brackish Scales. Now we're going to practice blinding the Brackish Scale. Brackish Scale. We're too late. So we'll try to do this again. Let's get used to being confident about attacking while they have blind up. So here's one. Blind is up. They don't have it. We go back. That's what. That's an example of how to practice. Okay. We shatter. They're about to come. We block. Shatter. That's another one. And remember, when you block and repulse, you summon a clone. You're gonna get a stack up. We got an opponent there. Why am I not targeting him? Okay. We gotta be careful here. We're not going to spend our thing on him. Oh. Oh, it's not working. Am I offline? I guess he's offline. Whispers. How's it going? Network network? I guess he's offline. But anyways, let's go to another thing. I think he recognizes I was doing a video because I'm fighting NPCs. Well, let's uh change that. Okay. Where was I? We're practicing against NPCs, we're practicing uh combos. Alright. Here is like I said, what we did before in the other videos. The crippling days, you guys tell me do the frequently and how effective it was. And how do you follow up from that? It's really just how you want, depending on the flow of the fights, the flow of the engagements. The reason why I run like this in the like that, you can see them behind you, right? Let's see let's practice them about to attack. And evade it. See that? It doesn't say evade, I guess it's because we went close enough or something like that, but we evaded it. Boom. Watch this. Did you see that follow-up shatter? You timed it in such a way where the shatter takes effect where you are and the clone next to it. It also takes effect in the delay, because it looks like I pressed shatter twice, but I didn't. Let's do this again. Right when the clone is about to pop... Hold on. Boom. Okay, I guess the bear got the clone first before he could shatter pop. Here's the spider web. Oh. There it is. It's a very powerful surround and pound attack. Moving on. Let's see. What other combos can we do? What else did I not cover yet? Oh! Ha! Oh, this, this move is going to be, uh, it's a very good move. So we're going to attract this bear. We also want to attract that bear over there, because I want to show you something. Hold on. We got both of their attention. Hold on. A little close. Wait. Alright, we got both. Here's a, here, here is a powerful, powerful trick. Okay. Here it is. What we want to do is we want to daze one of them and blind the other one. Then we go back to one. Watch this. So, the bear's right here. You have to do this really quick. Watch. Okay, ready? Watch. Did you see that? Okay, we'll do it again. The bear went back. That's why he wasn't there yet. But what happened was this. When, when we were in the mid-animation being in the air, when we were in the air, we teleported to the bear. I'm not trying to rap. When we were in the air, we teleported to the bear. We dazed the bear. Then when the animation completes, we teleport to the black bear. I'm gonna show you this. 
Let's pretend there's, let's pretend uh, this plant right here is an opponent. I'm gonna blink here while I'm mid-air and, and daze that plant. And then we're gonna go and blind the bear. Watch. You see that? I pressed distortion, but that would be the, the version. So I, I, I dazed him here and went there. There are fights where um, there was a ranger that was about to shoot. And I dazed that ranger. And then I blinded the melee right here. And, and they were interrupted, and we got the superior sigil of severance and applied it on the melee here. And then we went back to daze the person that was here with the line daze. That's the potential of this build. We're gonna actually try to success successfully do this. So hold on. We need another target. It's kind of difficult here. But that's really what it is. Let's do this again. We'll try to daze this this area. We're gonna daze this bush right here. So watch out. Watch this. Boom! Did you see that? Okay. Then when you, then you're fighting, and guess what? Watch this. There's somebody there. Boom! Now you're fighting them right here. Boom! 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 Then you go like this. Bam! 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 That's why this build is fun. Right, you can do a lot of power moves. I don't mean power damage, but like powerful, like shocking moves that go, oh my gosh, what's happening? And then here's another trick. Hold on. Let's uh let's get this cooldown fast. So we'll just play with this. We're actually gonna try to demonstrate that against players, because I did that before. Or I don't remember. I don't remember if I did that, but I think it's something I was practicing, but I don't pay attention if I do the move or not, it just comes into my head. Alright, we're gonna practice with the bear, and this bear. Okay, watch out. We're targeting this bear, okay, watch. Hold on. This is, this is, I have anxiety, but it's against bears. I don't want to mess up. We're gonna try to daze this one, and blind this one, okay? My brain is gonna be fried because I don't want to click in the wrong bear. I need them to be separate though. Oh gosh, hold on. Split, you guys need to split. I guess I have to do this, hold on. There we go, they're gonna split. Okay, watch this. There we go, there it is. Uh, yeah. We got it. So if you guys rewind, what we did is we dazed the bear here, but we blinded this one there. It just takes a lot of practice. That's a very quick uh, protection move because you're going to interrupt the person if they're in mid attack and then you're going to blind the person that you're in and if you get to interrupt, you get the superior sigil from the person you dazed from a far away and you apply it to the person that's near you. So that's that's another uh, move. Uh, that's something that they don't expect. There's QQ. Let's see who's here. Okay, we're gonna we could do this with the pet. So watch this. There we go. We did it to the pet. I think that's a new player. Yeah, fairly new. Blind the pet. Where's the pet? Pet is blinded. Pet misses. We're gonna interrupt the pet. There we go. We fortunately got our swiftness. We're gonna push from the pet towards him. That was a fail because we targeted too far. Then stay behind the clone. Here it is. Too far away. Now we can jump to the pet. Push from the pet. Now we're close for him. So those are examples of what we can do. Okay. I'm trying to lengthen this fight so I could demonstrate a lot of things. 
But this player could actually kill me because he's being careful, so... He's a very tanky build, so what we do is we just go close to him. Trigger the trap if there's any. Okay. I think he has a hard time recognizing who's the Mez and who's not. But just enough. We'll go over here. Okay, go back. Gonna right, take some cover. I'm gonna blind the pet. Oh, he's back. We're gonna go away from him now because he's pretty much a tank. But yeah, that's basically going to be the end demonstration for this additional move video. I'm just glad we were able to demonstrate doing the days this one and then teleport here then we go back there. So I'm going to show you this. Ready? Watch this. Stay behind your clones. Reflect, power shatter at the same time, you can dodge roll, chase him with the guy, your shatter days, cripple, whatever it's called. There we go. Spread out your shatter, stay behind the phone, relocate because we got AoE on us, phase this one, chase them. We're gonna push from. We're gonna right click, remember? Right click, and then move away. Okay, we were too far. Blind on spot. Get out. This guy's a tank, but it's a good thing because we're able to demonstrate things. He has low DPS. But we can. We just need to poison him. He's in here, we blind him. He's blinded, don't worry about the next attack. Okay, now we go, because the blind expired. Push from that, get to him. Alright. I'm telling you, this is not scripted. If you message this guy, he's like, did you script and practice this with him? He's like, no. The guy just came out of nowhere. But it's very good timing because it showcases what we can do. So I'm gonna trick him, maybe he's gonna go for him. Yep. He's still there. We're gonna get rid of that. Okay, now we're just gonna get on him. Go back, because we got affected. Alright, he's just a tank, so we're gonna go away. Because somebody could come. Chaos. I'm gonna pin us for a bit. Take effect. He's here somewhere. He's gonna. He doesn't watch out behind him. Watch, watch, watch. You know I did that, right? Because I saw the circle. I evaded to jump into the this guy, so we didn't land inside the circle. To land on the pet. Do do that second nature. Why am I shattering while he's getting at me? While I'm in place? Just in case there is a CC follow up. Okay. I'm actually losing the situation because he's figuring out my weakness. So we gotta respect that. This guy's actually gonna probably defeat us. Our mindset was just to showcase what we have. Okay. The point, I think the Kandi really affects him though, if he's not careful with it. Uh, oh, that's why I didn't unblock him. The other guy. Hold on. I don't think he likes to parlay. 
Alright, we're gonna escape. Remember? Remember what I taught you? And we took it into effect. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, he can actually put me down, but we're smart enough to recognize when to escape. We're also able to put him down because... Sorry, to down him, not put him down, that's really bad. To down him because you saw him run away when his sustain was being compromised with poison. I forgot about that. You know, sometimes I forget we have poison. But thanks for watching this video, hopefully this showcased all the advanced moves. We saw how we demonstrated the daze and then the blind on an actual fight. So that's pretty satisfactory. Alright, I'll see you in the next video, uh, progress video. I won't put any more in the thread that I uploaded, so if you mesmers like to try this out, see the potential of it, that's really good. And if you want to see once again what we have in the build, here it is. She's doing a quick rundown of everything equipped and everything selected, so you could pause just in case people skip the other videos and just want to have a quick rundown. So staff, these, axe, offense, sword, and then you already saw this. Equipment, uh, exotic minimum, and the like. Don't worry about the underwater. Underwater will be later. With these. You need to get the polyluminescent undulating refractor, so you could have that square icon on the clone also. Don't worry about these, okay? And then don't worry about appearance, uh, aesthetics don't affect the fight. Um, they might look intimidating, and they might give you a false sense of confidence, like somebody could look empty and plain, but they actually have armor on, they probably just hit like, the helmet and the shoulders to make them look a little weaker, but they have like high stats. <laughs> you know, that's why don't look about, don't think about the looks. Don't look at the appearance, but yeah. Alright, I'm still a player that's improving, desiring to improve, and you know, this is not about, oh, I'm the best. This is about being the best that we can be every day to ourselves, so that every next day is better than the day before. So it's all about being the best version of ourselves. I will see you guys in the next video. Avian out.